Hi everyone, it's Vanessa and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this new video. And this video was actually requested by one of my subscribers. She wanted to know what my favorite new lipsticks are for brown skin. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So right now I don't have anything on my lips. And the first lipstick I want to show you is this Milani lipstick in the color teddy bear and this is my go-to nude lipstick there was this period of time where i would wear it every day um and it has some pink undertones it's kind of nude pink let me put it on so you guys can see it All right, so right now I have the Milani lipstick on and this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I think it looks so natural and it gives you a nice finish. It's not glossy, but it's not super matte. It's just a natural finish. It has some pink undertones. It does give you a little bit of a pink, but um, I think it looks really nice and natural. I would wear it all the time, either going to work or just going out on a regular day. And something I like about the Milani lipsticks that I tried, and this one specifically, is that it lasts uh, a long time. Like, if you're wearing it just to go out to work or something, it will last you a long time, except if you're eating or something, of course it's gonna come off. The texture of the lipstick is very smooth and it gives you a very moisturizing feel, which is something that I like. All right, the next lipstick I have right here is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I have been loving this one. When I was super into nudes, this was my go-to. I would actually combine this uh, with the Milani sometimes and it looks very, very nice. So this is in the color London. All right, so right now I have the NYX Soft Matte Cream in the color London on my lips and it's super super nude I think this is the lightest color I can wear without looking super ashy so yeah I think this is like borderline ash but I think I can it's still something that you can pull off so um, there's a color that's slightly darker and I always look for it whenever I'm at a drugstore but they they're never they never have it in stock it's this same formula but in the color Abu Dhabi and it's slightly darker and I've never been able to try it because they always run out in CVS Walgreens Walmart wherever I'm at they never have it but this one is pretty good too the only thing is that you have to if you want to cover your lips since I have like kind of darker lips I have to go on and put two layers of it but I like it because it's a matte finish but it doesn't give you that dry Sahara desert feeling on your lips I've tried other matte lipsticks that leave your lips feeling super dry even NYX I've tried the NYX lingerie line and it's it has really nice colors, but my lips get so dry from it and they start looking crusty. It's not cute. So this is a good alternative to that. It gives you a soft, soft matte finish, like it says it on the lipstick. All right, so I'm going to take this one off and I'll come back with the next lipstick. All right, so the next three lipsticks are actually all from Fenty Beauty. They're not drugstore, but I think that they're worth putting in this video because I've been loving them. And the first one I'm going to show you is the Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks in the color Single. All right, so right now I have the Mademoiselle lipstick from Fenty Beauty in the color Single. And if you haven't seen my swatch video, I'll link it up here. Also, um, I think when I first tried it out, I thought that this color was super light, but I got kind of used to it. And I think it's a really nice nude tone right now. Um, it's giving me like pink, pink undertones, coral undertones. I think it looks really nice. I usually don't go for colors that are super light like this one, but I think I can pull it off and I, I really like it. So this color, although my first impression of it, I was unsure of it, it's become one of my go-tos as well. All right, so this one is not so much as a beige nude. It's more of a pink nude for sure. Um, it's a combo of two Mademoiselle lipsticks. So 
The one in the middle has been something I've been really surprised of because when I first put it on, I thought it was way too light and I was never gonna use it. But this is Mademoiselle Lipstick in the color Up To No Good in the middle, but I line my lips with the color Spanked. And it gives me like a nice nude, muted pink tone on my lips and I really like it. All right, so this is the last color and this is actually a combo from two Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipsticks and it has been one that I've been using so much lately. It's basically only the only thing I've been having on my lips lately and on the outside of my lips, I line my lips, not on the outside, I line my lips with uh, the color Shoddy and then in the middle, I go in with the other tone that I swatched this is in the color single and just blend them in and it gives you a little bit of a darker darker nude and I really really love it it's my favorite one all right guys so those are my favorite nude lipsticks I know some of them were a little bit pink but I still consider them nude in my eyes and I know it can be difficult to find a good nude shade for your skin tone especially if you're brown or black I've been there it's so easy to end up looking ashy and it's the worst so I hope this video helped you out in some way if you have any suggestions leave them in the comment box because this video was suggested by one of you guys so you guys give me great ideas i hope this video helped you and if you haven't subscribed come on and subscribe i hope to see you next time nos vemos pronto bye